Hello guys, welcome to the 36th session of laser tutorials for beginners. In this session, we will learn how to debug our application. In certain situations, we need to debug the application to obtain what's going wrong. As we know, there are two different kinds of hosting model of Blazor. Both have different ways of debugging. I have opened the server side project. We have created in session 5 but we haven't created any component within it. Let's open fetch data component. Put a breakpoint in starting of on in it async method. Run the project. And click on fetch data page. Here Visual Studio gets control and breaks execution. Now we can view or update values property or fields just like normal C sharp program. We can also step in to this method. You can see that the value of this property is updating. In the case of the server side hosting model, the main logic will be placed on server side. So we can use the Visual Studio's debugging features. Stop execution. Let's open client side project. Open same component. Add breakpoint on same location. Run the project. Open fetch data. Here we got data. Our breakpoint doesn't stop here. If you hover breakpoint, you will get the message that breakpoint will not currently hit. Because in the client side hosting model, all DLL will be downloaded to the browser and run under the browser. There is no dependency on Visual Studio or .NET servers. Microsoft has provided an alternative way for this. For this, in the application, we need to press Shift Alter D. It will open a new tab. You might get an error like this. We need to restart the Chrome with enabling remote debugging. Copy this line. Close all the tabs. In Task Manager, verify that all instances of Chrome and Chromium based browsers are closed. Open Run. Paste that line and press Enter. Again, press Shift Alter D. This time it will open Remote Debugging Tools in the new tab. Click on Toggle Device Toolbar to hide this preview from left side. Open Source tab. Nowhere you can see Node with Name files. Expand Files node. Now expand it. Here we got a folder named Pages and it contains all the components that we have created. Open the Fetch Data component. Add breakpoint here. And let's load this page. Here debugger will pause. Open Source tab. Here you can step in and step out to check flow. But you cannot check or edit values of property or fill. So, this is not very useful at all. But Microsoft is working and maybe provide a way for this. If you want to check values, then you can write it on the console's log. But this became a little bit tedious. So for now, we have only this option in case of the client side hosting environment. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, Please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.